it's just so hard because I feel like right now, like I'm trying everything I can to get better. And it's like so hard because I feel like I've never experienced with this with any of my pregnancies. And like I'm trying so hard. <laughs> At that point, you know, like, I would be in premature labor. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's vlog, uh, we are going to our midwife, right? Or Steph's midwife. Uh, we have a practical, it's our doctor appointment. Uh, yes. Um, just to see how she's doing <sighs> and give ourselves our options, whether we're going to have a home birth or if we're going to um, have a a, um, a normal birth at the hospital, guys. As you guys see, Steph is not feeling well. Um, we are sad to open this vlog like this, but yeah. it's things that um, Steph is going through right now. Um, literally last night, not even last night, midday, um, Steph called me. I was at uh, the, I was at my nephew's uh, soccer game, and then she calls me. She says she wasn't feeling well, and in my head I'm like, okay, you know, it's normal, you know. Um, but she's like, no, like I'm not feeling well, so I'm like, okay, now now I gotta go. So um, so yeah, so that happened, and uh, we I got home, and um, so yeah, she was taking a little nap. She got up, she threw up, she took a bath. What did you feel yesterday, babe? I know you're still feeling it right now, but yesterday you felt it more, but there's more to the story. I don't know, I just felt really, really dizzy, guys. And then I could have, you know, like obviously I went to the grocery store with the kids and then I was gonna start making dinner, but I just started to feel really, really lightheaded. And then um, I checked my blood pressure, I checked my sugar, and everything was really normal. I said it to my midwife. And then she was just kind of like, oh, you know, like everything seems fine. You shouldn't be feeling any type of way. Keep in mind, guys, uh, she, Steph is 34 weeks pregnant right now, so eight months. So we need about a month and a week left for this baby. Um, so, yeah, sorry, baby. And then? Very no, good. And I like super good because she even asked me, she's like, oh, I haven't been hydrating. And I think at that point it was already like four and I had like, it was like, 60 ounces of water so I was you know pretty much like on point and then um, I had had you know my protein I ate meat I ate a bagel with egg and cheese um, I ate some pecans um, so like I'm like trying to eat every two hours so everything was fine so it just didn't make sense um, so yeah I just started feeling really sick and it's just so hard because I feel like right now, like I'm trying everything I can to get better. And it's like so hard. It's okay, baby. And it's just so hard because again, it's like, I try to like brush it off, but I vomited again and and because I don't know if I was vomiting a lot, like, I ended up, like, my body kind of, like, wanted to go into, like, getting contractions. So, like, in between I was vomiting, I was getting contractions. And it was just so hard because I was, like, messaging my midwife. But, but it's, like, so hard because it's, like, she, at that point, you know, like, I would be in premature labor. And the baby would have to be like in the hospital they would have to give him like steroids <laughs> and that's just like really hard because I've never had a complication in any of my other pregnancies and I think that's like the scary part because like I'm trying so hard to not feel like this but I don't know what's wrong with me I've asked around I've gotten labs <laughs> no one seems to tell me like what I have and like it's just so hard <laughs> so yeah like obviously like we were gonna go to the hospital 
but um, I just didn't want to be throwing up in the hospital because I feel like there's nothing like feeling sick in your own home. <laughs> but I don't know. At the end of the day, you know, like I was still feeling nauseous at night, even after all I had thrown up. And I was still getting contractions, but I think my body was just so tired that I ended up falling asleep. And this morning, um, I already had my appointment with my midwife scheduled. But, like, my body hurts. Like, like I'm so tired. Let's give Steph a little break. Um, but, yeah, yesterday, um, we literally, like, thought we were going to have the baby. Um... So when I got back home from the soccer game, um, you know, uh, I communicated with Steph and at this point, my thoughts was like, okay, you know, maybe she's overwhelmed, maybe she's thinking of it too much, maybe she's stressing herself out. So I'm like, hey babe, you know what? Um, <laughs> take a bath, relax. I'm gonna take the kids out to the park, which the park is down the street, guys give her a little break um so i took the kids out to the park for about an hour and a half i told her hey call me if anything i'm just down the street so then she calls me and she or she texts me and she's like hey you know like like you need to come now we need to leave and i'm like okay like so i'm literally like two minutes down the street i didn't want her to hear noises with the kids or the kids bugging her. I wanted her to relax. Um, and then long story short, uh, so we get back and then she starts getting contractions. But then I start searching up all the signs of labor, everything that she was going through uh, was signs of labor. She had uh, lower pain, cramps, lower back pain, um, vomiting, nauseous, um, swollen on the feet so I'm like okay so those are all signs so we didn't even have the diaper bag uh, ready or nothing like we're not, we weren't even prepared you know if <laughs> we don't even have the diaper bag yeah so so I start rushing and start getting everything okay what do you while Steph is like trying to like hold it together and doing her hair um, I'm over here yelling across the room okay what else do we need and I'm like with the bag I think I recorded uh, I'll put some clips on there And at this point, you know, if in our head, we were like, okay, the baby's born at 34 weeks. We don't even have clothes that fits them, right? So, um, so yeah, at the end of the day, guys, I just try to calm Steph down. And I'm like, hey, you know what? Relax, breathe. Let's lay down. You know, um, try to fall asleep, drink some water. Just relax. And we were literally about to step out of our room to head out to the hospital. And then uh, she ended up falling asleep. I ended up going to sleep like around two in the morning, you know, just watching over her. And so she ended up falling asleep. Um, thank God, you know, she slept throughout the whole night. I think you only woke up once or twice, but around 6 a.m., you know, Steph woke up. This was around 11 p.m. And then around 6 a.m., she woke up. I guess she woke up uh, with nausea, baby, again, and throwing up. Yeah. And so she started feeling 
the same thing she felt yesterday, guys. Right now, our first step, guys, is uh, today's the next day in the morning. Uh, we are actually here in front of our midwife's um, place. She, so Steph's going to get checked out. Uh, and then we're gonna go from there guys. Um, we didn't want to go straight to the hospital So we're gonna check with our doctor first our midwife and then see what she tells us and Depending on Steph, if Steph feels the same way she felt yesterday, then we're going to the hospital right after right after this guys uh, But yeah, so we went to go buy Some coconut water. I don't know if you guys can see uh, They say that this makes her feel better it Has electrolytes, so yeah less sodium than the actual electrolyte drink but yeah guys I think I'm just like freaking out because it's like I don't want to go to the hospital because I don't want to get induced I don't want to have the baby so that he can just be in a machine or the intensive care and yeah so I think like I feel like I don't know like the walls are closing in a little um, and I'm pregnant so I cry for everything <laughs> We'll keep you guys updated if you're new to this channel guys uh, make sure you give this video a thumbs up make sure to subscribe um, so hit that subscribe button guys and make sure to turn on that notification bell is that thing we're a little early but you can sit down in the shade right there and then you can eat there's no benches yeah yeah you know where I am yeah give me all that I can see you <laughs> Careful. You get, you want to show them the belly? The little belly. Hello. How are you? Shawty know she a bad chick uh, First class, she ain't average uh, Pose for me, she get an actress I'ma put it down, down for you Come ride with a real